everybody. Welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun. It's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. All right, so today I would like to do a health check on His Majesty King Charles. Let's see how he's doing, how he's feeling, what uh, what's going to happen coming up here, and um, just, you know, just a little health check. Um... I have um, a little cleansing bell that I just got in. I'm very happy with it, and it can uh, cleanse the energy of the card, so I'm really happy with that. All right, uh, today I would like to use the Ancient Whispers Tarot deck, and we will see what kind of a reading we get for His Majesty King Charles. All right, I'm not trying to pry into his health. I'm just trying to find out how he's doing. All right, so... For His Majesty King Charles, how is the king feeling today? How is King Charles feeling today? Not in the past, but right now. How is he feeling today? All right. And is the king's treatment helping destroy the cancer? Is the king's treatment helping to destroy the cancer? And will the king return to royal duties by June 2024? Is the king going to return to royal duties by 2024? All right. And will the king recover completely in 2024? Is the king going to recover completely by 2024? And um, will, the, will the Buckingham Palace make a statement about the king's health in the next two weeks? Is Buckingham Palace going to make a statement about the king's health in the next two weeks? And finally, is King Charles going to have Prince William become regent? Is King Charles going to have Prince William become regent? Oops. Oh, goodness. Okay. I think we are definitely getting there here. Okay, yeah, these cards are... I tried this with a different deck. It didn't want to talk to me. So, I'm trying with this here. All right, we're going to go with this one. There we go. We have our cut. And six questions and six cards. Hope everyone's doing well today. We have a beautiful day on the East Coast. A little cold, but quite beautiful. All right, and our interline energy is... The Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. The Eight of Swords in reverse. All right, so upright, the Eight of Swords is about feeling trapped, being bound. Uh, and there's actually a way out of feeling trapped, but you just don't see how to go forward. And then in reverse, it's about find, finding a way to free yourself from this trap. Finding a way to actually let go of the obstacles that are blocking you. Hmm. Okay, interesting energy for this topic. Okay, all right. How is the king feeling today? How is King Charles feeling today? Ooh, the chariot in reverse. We have an arcana card here. Um, so he is feeling about, okay, so upright, the chariot is about control. It's about decisions. Um, and in reverse, it's about feeling out of control. Like you don't, you can't make the decisions you need to make. Wow. He's feeling out of, well, yeah, he has no control of his health. So that makes sense. And he's trying to find a way out of the situation that he's in. Oh my. He's feeling very trapped and, and bound. And he's not sure He's trying to find a way out of the situation. Oh my goodness. Oh heavens. Okay. Oh goodness. All right, let's see what else comes up here. Not the not the <laughs> not what I was expecting. Um all right, is the king's treatment helping to destroy the cancer? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my goodness. Well, this is about being um, being greedy and materialistic and 
not having priorities, not having the right priorities. And then with the Eight of Swords combined, trying to free yourself from a trap. I think they don't, they're not using, the, the treatment is not the right one. And they're trying to figure out what is the right treatment for him. I don't, I don't think it's showing good progress. And they're, they're trying, they're trying to figure out what is the right treatment for him. Oh my goodness. Oof. Okay. Um, will the king return to royal duties by June? Is he going to return to royal duties by June? Justice. Oh my gosh, another Arcana card. Um, Alright, so justice is about a decision has been... Well, that's actually judgment. Justice is about... Um, things will turn out as they're supposed to. The scales will be balanced. He may be able to find a way to free himself from this trap. He may find a way to make it through. Whatever is destined to happen here is going to happen, and he's going to be able to find a way to free himself. Will he return to royal duties by June? I think this is about some kind of legal issue. What in the world? Okay, so justice is about... Let's think about this. Okay, so justice is about um, a fair outcome will follow your actions. A fair decision will be made for equilibrium and balance. If he's well enough, obviously he will. I'm not getting a good feeling from this card. I think that whatever is keeping, whatever trap that he's in, he'll find the fairest way to, to continue his royal duties, but I don't think it's going to be in the way that we're used to. Something's going to prevent him from returning full-time to royal duties, and he's going to find a way to fairly make it so that he can rule, but it's not going to be in the way that we're used to seeing. Isn't that interesting? All right, I'm interested to see this card. All right, so let's let's keep going here. Will the king recover completely this year? Is the king going to recover completely this year? Oh, the magician in reverse. Another arcana card. All right, this is a really big deal. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm getting goosebumps. Okay. So, um is he going to recover completely? The Magician in Reverse is about tricks. It's about bad energy. It's about having an idea, but you haven't figured out how to make it work yet. So, okay. So he's got an idea of how to get him out of this, get himself out of this trap that he's in, but he hasn't quite worked it out yet. Is he going to recover completely this year? I don't think so. And he's got a he's got an idea of how to how to let his rule go forward. To get out of the trap that he's in. He's working on an idea on how to on what to do if he does not recover. So if he doesn't recover and he can't rule as he wants to. Then he's got an idea of how to take it forward. And that's why he feels out of control. He feels out of control because in his mind, things are not looking like he is going to recover. He feels like he's not going to recover. And he's trying to make plans for what happens if he doesn't. Okay, I think I see where this is going now. I think the king is a worst case scenario type of person. I tend to be the same way. And you have to make plans to what happens if things don't work out. If things aren't going the way that you want. If the worst case happens, do you have a plan in place? And I think that's what he's doing. 
Oh, I got goosebumps. I think it's exactly it. Okay. Whew. Will the palace make a statement about the king's health in within two weeks? The Queen of Cups. Oh, okay. This represents Camilla. Um, I think they will, and Camilla will say something. Camilla's going to be the one to say something. And she might also, maybe this is Catherine here, she might also um, uh, make a statement about Catherine's health as well. It's going to be Queen Camilla who says something. And she's going to say something about how he's feeling and how he's trying to work his way through his illness. Okay? So within, a, within two weeks, we should hear something from, from Queen Camilla. All right. And um, will the king have Prince William become regent? Oops. The Seven of Cups. Okay, so he has a lot, lot of options available to him. He has a lot of avenues he's exploring. A lot of ideas that he's trying to decide on what to do. And he's making sure he's making the right choice. He might. He might. This may be the way out of his trap is to have William become regent. If his illness takes a, a prolonged time, if it's taken longer for him to recover, or if he, you know, God forbid, will not recover, then he's coming up with an idea and a plan to make it fair so that everyone's agreeable on how the how the realm is being controlled and, and run so that nobody will have any question about who's in control. Oh, how interesting. Okay. So this reading is about he's making plans for what will happen if he does not recover or if the worst happens. That's what he's thinking about. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's do a wrap up here. Okay. So how's the king feeling today? He feels out of control. <clears throat> he feels like things are now out of his hands. He's, he doesn't have control of his future. And he's trying to figure out how to get out of this trap that he's in. Okay? And then is the, um, is the king's treatment helping destroy the cancer? I think that he doesn't think so. Um, it, it, what he's seeing does not seem to support that idea. So he's thinking it's not helping. And it's early in his treatment. It may just be pessimism on his part um, because he wants to get better quickly. But in his mind, it's not helping him yet. Of course, if he's doing chemo, chemo makes you feel horrible and it's hard to see a good outcome. But he's, uh, in his mind, it's not helping. <clears throat> so that's why he's trying to make plans. Um, is the, is the, um, will the king return to royal duties in June? <clears throat> I don't think he will, but what, what happens, whatever will happen will be fair and just. Because he needs to find a way out of this situation. <clears throat> he needs to find a way to try to make it uh, fair and, and accepting to the public that whatever he's going to put in place will be fair. And I think it's going to be this right here. <clears throat> so um, will the king recover completely this year? I don't think so. His treatment may be prolonged. It may go into next year. Um, cancer's a tricky thing. And it may take longer than he wants it to, to for him to recover and be strong. So they're looking at lots of different ways, lots of different options here. And um, he has an idea of what to do to try to get out of the situation, but it may take longer than what he's expecting. <clears throat> and um, will the king, will the palace make a statement about the king's health? Yes, and within two weeks it'll come through Camilla. Camilla's going to be the one who says something. All right, and then is the king going to make, um, have William, Prince William become regent? It's very, very possible. It's one of the ideas that he is, he's looking at, and he thinks that this will probably be the most just and fair solution <clears throat> to have Prince William be his regent while he's trying to recover or is uh, ill from all his cancer. He may not recover. I mean, it's it's possible, but if, if it's prolonged, then yes, he's going to have William become his regent. So, I wish I had a better, a better reading, but it is what it is, and he's facing up to the health challenges that he has coming up. 
So he's making worst case scenario plans, I think is what's going on here, because he doesn't feel very hopeful right now. But all right, I hope you found that interesting. I wish the king nothing but the best. I do hope he recovers. I hope this is completely wrong, and I hope that he will announce very quickly that he's on the mend. But this is the reading for today. Um, if you guys are, if, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're a subscriber, why well, thank you so much. I love all my subscribers. And if you're not, why well, you need to, to subscribe. Look at this great reading. I know you're always watching my channel, watching my all my readings. Just click the subscribe button and don't forget to press the notification bell so you won't miss another reading. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to have another reading coming up about the memorial service for King Constantine that happened yesterday. And um, let's see what was going on there. So that's coming up next. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.